guys, welcome to another episode of The Lowdown. I'm here at Coronado Beach, but I'm gonna be heading back to the studio where my co-host Sydney is with our special guest, music curator, Ari Elkins. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of The Lowdown. Today we have a very special guest, music curator, Ari Elkins. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate it. Now, before we get to your content creation, because it's really, really fascinating, just tell us about yourself. Yeah, so my name is Ari Elkins. I grew up in Los Angeles. I'm 22 years old. I just graduated from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. And then I turned to creating content on TikTok and sharing the music that I love. And it just started out as just a hobby. I was really excited. The first viral video I ever made was called Songs That Will Take You Straight to Your Favorite College Party and I just posted a collection of eight different songs that I loved, did a cringy dance to it, posted the video, thought nothing of it, went viral overnight, it ended up hitting two million views, and then I ended up creating a career out of it, and it's kind of just spiraled out of that. So you would say that in that moment, that viral video, is that when you knew, you're like, this is what I have to do? Not at all. <laughs> in that, with that viral video, it was so something that I was just having fun at home, and then I slowly figured out if I can make a video about songs that get people excited to go to a college party, I'm gonna create another video for songs that are perfect for a day at the beach. And then everybody was like, wait, I love this video. Can you make a Spotify playlist for this? And then I started making Spotify playlists around the TikTok videos that I was creating. And then it just kept spiraling out of that. What a crazy adventure. Yeah. So I hear that you're also gonna be working closely with Spotify or you have worked closely yeah. with Spotify. Like, I mean, what's that like? That's huge. Yeah, so we just launched my show called Soundtrack Your Day on Spotify Live. It runs every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. And we have on different guests, different influencers, different content creators, different artists, actors, all coming together to live curate a playlist in this Spotify Live show on Soundtrack Your Day. And the show's live, so we also have people from the audience that can come on and talk to us about what music they've been listening to. And then at the end of the 60 minute show, we create a Spotify playlist that then lives on Spotify for everyone to enjoy for weeks to come. That is incredible. Now your content is really unique because you're creating music, right? And so, but what you do is, is very cool because it's not like you're creating a genre music, but you're almost creating an experience. Yeah. Can you, can you walk us through your your, uh, your thought process? Definitely. I always love going on Spotify and finding music, but the majority of the stuff you find on Spotify are genre-based playlists. So, you know, you can find like pop from the 2000s or rock. And for me, a Gen Z kid in this Gen Z TikTok world, I was like, how my friends and I are receiving music is we think about experiences and aspects of life. So if we're driving to the beach, I wanna know what the perfect song is for a drive to the beach with the windows down. So when I'm thinking about curating music and creating content around it, I'm trying to imagine myself in these spaces and then thinking of the perfect song and songs that work for these moments. So when you're listening to music, like what do you use to listen with? Yeah, so my go-to headphones that I like to listen to are the Sony Link Buds S, and I'm constantly just throwing them in my ears, listening to music when I'm on a run, when I'm hiking. I was just taking the train here on the way here, and these were what I was listening to the whole way through, and it was fantastic. Another reason why I love them so much is ambient sound. So sometimes I'm going for a walk listening to music, or I'm around a bunch of people, and I still want to listen to my jams but also want to be able to hear cars in front of me or someone talking to me. And so with ambient sound, you can listen to both your music while also being socially aware of your surroundings, which is important because with other headphones, I've had way too many experiences of me like being on a jog and there's a car that pulls out in front of you and you're just like, oh, I didn't realize it was there. So super helpful to have that. Now, would you say that you have a creative process? Like, what's that like? Or is it just kind of like spur of the moment just comes to you or do you plan? Yeah, no, so I definitely plan out my videos ahead. I plan out the playlist. I go to the physical location. So if I'm working on the perfect beach playlist, I'll literally get in my car, drive to Santa Monica, sit in the beach, throw in my link buds, and listen to a playlist that I've started creating and curate it live at the beach. So I'll be adding music from different artists from the 70s and 80s, and then I'll be pulling new music that I'm finding on TikTok, and then I'm also finding music through friends that are sending me stuff. And so it's been a really fun process to just find music from so many different places and try and tailor that to different moments in people's lives. And my biggest thing has always been just being able to create a soundtrack for people's life, because I just love that idea. So, okay, speaking of creating content, what do you use to film on? So I use the Sony ZV-1. It's this great vlogging camera. It's super small and handheld, so I can put it in my pocket can bring it around, can take it everywhere, and it works for me. Yeah. 
easy, simple, all-in-one camera. Completely, and it also has the flip-up screen so I can see how I'm looking in the shot. Um, Cause usually when I'm filming stuff, it's literally just me sitting on a couch and the camera in front of me, no like big production team or anything. So it's important that I'm able to see the shot as I'm creating it in real time. Well, it's very cool that you've turned your passion into an actual career. It's, it's pretty awesome to see you grow, but where do you see your career in the next five, 10 years? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to stick with music curation. I'd love to continue to solidify myself as this voice for Gen Z music curation. Because I think right now, as it stands, there's kind of this void in terms of music curation in that you can turn to Spotify and get Spotify playlist, or you can turn to TikTok. But I want to kind of continue helping kids my age find the music they love and really helping smaller artists get put on. And you know, one of the greatest things about my platform is I've been able to find artists when they're really small, put them in my videos and watch as they blow up. And that's been one of the most incredible things to see. And in the future years, I hope to continue doing music hosting, music curation. I look to the great names in the industry like Zane Lowe and Ryan Seacrest and people that are just really solidifying themselves and killing it. So hopefully one day I'll be up there with them. Well, you're killing it, man. Well, it's been really cool just seeing you grow and I've been enjoying your content a lot Appreciate lately. Like, I love just like getting your recommendations and just putting it on my Spotify. I'm like, oh yeah, I dig it. I totally get it. But hey, man, thank you so much for joining us. Thank it's been you so really much. fun. I really appreciate it. Thanks yeah, so much absolutely. for having me. If you guys want to follow Ari, definitely follow him on his social channels. You can follow us as well. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next episode of The Lowdown.